Um, I like to think that I'm just nostalgic, nostalgic, nostalgic. Hi, and welcome to my closet here in New York City. I'm Mishi. And recently, I got the chance to look through a bunch of old photo albums from my childhood. And while I was looking through them, I thought, wow, I would wear that today. And then I realized that I pretty much already do wear that today. <laughs> like, the clothes I wear today look so similar to the clothes that my parents dressed me in as a toddler that it's kind of like a little creepy. <laughs> have I regressed? Perhaps I have never fully matured? Um, I like to think that I'm just nostalgic, but I will let you make your own opinion on this. So today I decided that I want to make a bunch of outfits that are inspired by the clothes my parents dressed me in as a toddler in the 90s um, and only use the clothes that I already have here in my closet. So however it goes, I hope that you enjoy and let's see what happens. So our first outfit is inspired by the vibrant colors of the cute pocketed jumpsuit that I wore as a kid. The purple, teal, and pink color combo is a classic of the 90s. It's something you'd see in anything from ski jackets to Game Boy colors, so it was fun to reimagine this color scheme from a 2021 perspective. The outfit that I came up with is quite sporty and actually one of a kind. Both the shirt and pants are upcycled pieces by I Need Vintage. The shirt actually used to be a cycling shirt until the designer tailored it into a crop top. And the pants, I believe, are made from an old windbreaker or jacket. Judging by the colors, I think that both original pieces were most likely from the 90s or maybe even the 80s. So that made it really easy to come up with a decade appropriate color scheme. These pants are really versatile and fun. They can be tightened at the waist and ankles with drawstrings. And there are also a million pockets to hide things in. For my amusement and for your entertainment, here are all of the things one can stash away in these pockets without detection. It's fun to imagine all of the things I might have hidden in my little teal jumpsuit pockets as a kid, so these pants are my tribute to that idea. As a last note, these sneakers are the Nike Aqua Rift model, and they fit into the outfit so perfectly with their 90s colors and lighthearted design. The most unique part of the shoe is that it has a split toe, which does in fact mean that you need to wear split toe socks with them, FYI. Overall, I love the way this outfit looks and feels, and I will definitely be wearing it once it gets a bit warmer out. Our next outfit is inspired by the floral pattern and pastel colors of this adorable little dress that I believe someone made for me when I was a kid. The modern version of this outfit is an incredible, incredible shirt and skirt combo, which have the same baby blue and baby pink tones, as well as a white embroidered collar area. This set was upcycled by Selena Sanders out of a 1930s tablecloth, curtains from the 80s, and some vintage printed fabric. Honestly, can you believe that this outfit is made from a tablecloth and curtains. Wow, it is so special. And I totally feel like a queen when I'm wearing it. I feel like I own the streets that I'm walking down in the city. The shoes are these sweet velvety pink loafers, which I think work well with the dressy but relaxed theme. And the girly embroideries on the front also bring out some childhood vibes. Finally, Selena also makes masks out of her leftover fabric which is a continuation of her sustainable upcycling, no waste mission. So here's a mask that perfectly matches the rest of the outfit. Uh, of course, I would not have been wearing such a thing in the 90s. So this is yet again a 2021 take on a 90s style. Mmm, yummy. Here we have our third outfit. You can see in my inspiration photo that both my brother and I are wearing every color you can possibly think of. I decided to channel this rainbow overload into the modern era by wearing a vintage embellished sweater, which I bought from an online vintage shop. The sweater is already so much to look at, so I'm balancing that out by wearing neutral black everywhere else. I'm still following my childhood outfit silhouette by 
wearing a flared skirt and then wearing knee-length socks with combat boots <laughs> to mimic the high-top moon boots of my childhood. This sweater is totally over the top. I might even go so far as to call it camp. If you haven't heard of camp, it means a style that is appealing because it is in bad taste or has ironic value, which I think really describes this sweater. At its base, this sweater is an oversized rainbow knit. On top of that, it has a sequined Sailor Moon inspired applique sewed onto it. And then it also has five beaded mouths sewn onto it, which click around when you move. It's extremely fun, and for this reason, I think that it matches the spirit of my endearingly colorful childhood outfit. Oh, and surprise, in my childhood outfit, I seem to be wearing moon boots, and I actually do have moon boots in my adult life, but I would never wear them with this outfit since I, I only wear them in the depths of winter. But for fun, I decided to put them on anyway so you can see what the outfit would look like if I followed my inspiration a little more closely. For our final outfit, I decided to replicate my childhood summer dress by using the most comforting pattern I can think of, which is gingham. I went for a more sophisticated silhouette in this outfit while maintaining the same color scheme and pattern from my childhood dress. Looking at my childhood outfit, a headband, Peter Pan collar, and little puff sleeves aren't really something I'd wear today, at least not all at the same time. So instead I have this long asymmetrical dress, which is tied at the shoulders with sheer white ribbons. Underneath it I have a short sleeve turtleneck that has frilly lettuce edges, which brings some youthful fun into the outfit. This is the only outfit that I bought fully new. Uh, both the shirt and dress are from ASOS. I added these beaded watermelon earrings to match the picnic theme on the front of my childhood dress. Uh, one of the watermelons fell off a while ago and I decided that I actually prefer the asymmetrical look of the earrings to go with the asymmetrical cut of the dress. For shoes, I went with these unassuming espadrilles, which I would definitely wear to a real picnic. Uh, and I think I actually already have worn them to a real picnic. I'm really looking forward to wearing this outfit in the summertime. I'm imagining sitting in the grass while listening to an audiobook and looking at the trees. Uh, that's my ideal vision for this outfit, at least. So this is the aftermath of my uh, filming. <laughs> It took a lot more clothes than I, I thought it would, um, but yeah, this is normally how it looks after videos. I hope that I fully convinced you that I have not regressed into a three-year-old, and rather that I am simply a very nostalgic 28-year-old. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you next time. Bye!